Hello and welcome back. We are playing Victoria 3 as Armenia. Last episode, we took a little bit of dirt from the Ottoman Empire, as well as mainly talked about how we are, what our goal for this run is, which is trying to balance out having tr powerful trade unions, powerful industrialists, powerful intelligentsia, powerful petite bourgeoisie, all with plus 10 approval. And I realized that, so uh, before on the, initially on release, you used to have to have uh, 20% clout in order to be powerful. Now you only need 18% clout, which means, technically speaking, we can get five interest groups above 18% without having the armed forces be marginalized, so have them above 5%. And so this is the goal for the run, is to have it, our, tr <laughs> our interest groups balanced as everything should be. So this is the new goal for the run. Uh, it's gonna be quite difficult. I don't know how achievable it will be. We really need new parties up in here because currently we cannot move around the IGs very much at all uh, without upsetting people because, you know, the petite bourgeoisie is a nihilist so they want to join the liberals, except they don't agree with the liberals and the industrialists very much. It's very hard for us to make a legitimate government. Yeah, like, this is our only other option and it's this. And... Okay, we could do that, but we kind of have to wait for new parties to form. We need the Nihilist, for example, to die. And we are just continuing on along. I think we added a little bit to the queue. The queue's pretty small, only 150 construction. But this is what you get when you start off with, like, a one-province miner. Uh, this type of thing. We're running a deficit. We're going to deficit spend for quite a bit. Um, and this is kind of the goal. Uh, we want to be deficit spending. We do want to accumulate some amount of debt. We are getting the benefits, or we're wanting to get the benefits of treasury bonds uh, from a powerful uh, petite bourgeoisie. So we were want to switch over to elected bureaucrats at some point in time uh, to try and get their clout up over 18%. And so this is what we're trying to do right now. The last... Uh, interest group we want powerful, in addition to the first four we discussed, trade unions, petite bourgeoisie, industrialist intelligentsia, is the rural folk. So, at some point we gotta start bolstering them. Not quite yet, though. In fact, we might stop suppressing and start bolstering here. Uh, yeah. Um, once the standard, of, as the standard of living rises, the rural folk should get a little bit more powerful, but we have to try and you know, kind of manage uh, what things look like exactly, because the hard part is we cannot suppress a interest group that is a government, and we are trying to keep, like, for example, this is way above 18%, right? Uh, this is a little above 18%, so getting this, like, five-point balance is going to be very difficult. I don't think we can maintain it for an extended period of time, but I think it's a nice, interesting little goal, you know, that's not like, oh, conquer a whole bunch or build a whole bunch of construction. It's a little bit different, you know, type of goal that I think is a bit more interesting. So we don't want the pop attraction, but we might want the approval. No, they're pretty high on approval, so we will just work towards a common goal here, because we do not want the industrialist to get stronger. Um, although it would help our legitimacy. I don't think... Well, we can... Yeah. These are jobs for our minion. Damn. We are trying to, uh, you know, mo move up towards racial segregation, national supremacy, towards ethnostate. I think we came down initially. Uh, so this is kind of awkward that we're trying to move back up. But we have to get rid of uh, the current industrialist. Uh, is going to be a bit of a thorn in our side because he is a reformer. So he's not going to uh, support... You know, he needs to die, the Nihilist needs to die, the Nihilist is in the Petite Bourgeoisie party, my camera might block this a little bit, but for us to do this, and we're mainly going to be looking at these interest groups and trying to, like, micromanage all this, um, we do want a bit more authority, and kind of how we're going to get it is either going, you know, outlawed descent or going up the, up this, or also through technology, you know, um, we are right next to a 10% bonus, we can also pay... Uh, so we can get pan-nationalism for 10% authority, and then we can also, you know, pay these guys more for another 10% authority. You know, currently we're getting 1,000 total authority. We're using a lot of consumption taxes, so we can get rid of consumption taxes. We don't kind of, we kind of don't want to do that right now, because it's supporting our construction. And let's see, cars. We will... 
Hmm, I think we'll take the migration and radicalization. We could take the hit, though, on the loyalty of the industrialists. The intelligentsia are now plus 10 with us, which is now nice because it's giving us this propaganda bonus. Migration attraction is a huge modifier. This is really very nice. Um, kind of don't want to piss them off, but we're going to piss them off when we go more ethno -state -y. Um, so maybe we, maybe we try and creep up on, you know, the cultural exclusion. We just do one at a time. Just click, click, click. You know, every five years or so, this type of thing. Just a slow, steady applying of pressure. You know, we are going to want to try and increase loyalists. Unfortunately, we are using secret police, because I wanted to play around with this a little bit, which makes our suppressing uh, more effective, but guaranteed liberties is better for, like, increasing loyalists. Um, we're hoping we can get a little bit out of cultural exclusion in that, you know, um, we get more radicals, we have this radicals, we have a similar modifier for accepted cultures, and it comes really big with ethnostate. So this is kind of the plan. If we take a look, I think we can even look at uh, which cultures we accept. No, we can't. Patagonian. Hmm. So I think the star means we accept them, and the boot means we don't. My understanding of this. Why are we suddenly making a ton of- oh, because we don't have the construction folk. Okay, fair enough. Let's get that going up a little bit more. Increase that here. We have a ton of shortages on stuff. Shortages of engines, but our engines are not employing. I... Mm, struggling, a little bit struggling in here, because... We will take the Intelligentsia bump at expense of the Industrialists. This is good for us. Let's hope we can afford five infrastructure. We can. Now we're just paying a little bit. So, we get the, the Petit Bourgeoisie happy. Really want that 10% bonus to loan interest rate. Of course, I want to make it bigger. Man, the trade unionists are coming on up. Let us stop suppressing them and start suppressing the trade unionists. Why can't we suppress? Oh, we don't have the authority. Okay, well, because we lost some authority somewhere. Let's try and keep you a little bit lower. Although, we do want to go reg bodies. We're currently passing a law. The plan was to go mercantilism and then regulatory bodies. Um... The mercantilism, or sorry, the free trade will piss off the trade unions, and then the, uh, what is it? Regulatory bodies will make them happy, as well as for, like, vice versa for the other interest group. Maybe we want at least one arms industry in the capital. Really waiting for Russia to give up here on this war and white peace out. They've been uh, kind of going at it for a while. Not sure why they're not white piecing. It's gonna be really annoying if it's like bugged and they somehow can't. Well, we're just gonna click pro nationalism for a second and take a thing or pan nationalism. We would be okay with going feminism. Um. Kind of like making steel railway cars switch as early as possible. We don't really need mill tech. Um, I guess we can go feminism into malaria prevention, but we really have a few more places to colonize, so we're not pressed for that. Although I do like feminism. Mm, let's just go steel railway cars. We already got it a lot of the way researched, anyways.
Well, we don't want the... We kind of don't want the intelligentsia to have that malice, but... So, currently, the trade unions are kind of powerful, and so are the industrialists, but we can suppress the trade unionists. Uh, we would want this, but we don't want to get the approval malice, so let's go with the trade unionist pop attraction. And we'll just continue suppressing them, like, down to 18%-ish. That's kind of, uh, the target. I think we are... Yeah, so we're... Mm, this is gonna take forever to get them out of this. I think maybe we just focus on the petite bourgeoisie for now. They're already... They're really mad at us anyway, so we actually don't want them to become demarginalized, because we'll just get a malice and they'll be radical. But we will try and make the petite bourgeoisie... We're gonna try and creep them up over 18, and we will have four powerful interest groups that kind of like us these guys don't at least right not right now we will become much more profitable once we get these guys up yeah state construction efficiency is a big sag one i think our yeah i was gonna say i think our construction is probably not doing too hot let's do some of this what do you need more boom booms why can't the boom booms employ We should even keep it on privately owned. Yeah, the outputs are so expensive. Why can't you do this? Do we need infrastructure anywhere? We don't look like. I mean, so it's just it's the average wage is this and you need to pay more. Right, it's not a qualifications problem, right? Oh, wait, why do you have this huge throughput penalty? Industrial safety slowdowns. That's not good. We misclicked somewhere, I think. That's a yikesy poo. That's a really big malice. How long do we have that? We misclicked something. Somewhere. That's horrible to have in Armenia. We, like, we misclicked something. Oh, that's so bad. I mean, once we get off of it, our economy will be much better, but... Oh, I wish I knew what event that... how that happened. That's really not good. Although it does explain kind of everything, so... Can't go vacuum canning. Um, we have free trade. So now, in order to make the trade unions happy, we will go for regulatory bodies. Which, of course, will make the industrialists not happy. Ah, uh, we kicked them under 10. That's not ideal. But these guys are no longer mad, so that's a kind of okay. just capitulate my dog I don't know why he doesn't capitulate he's gonna get minus 100 though pretty glad I didn't raise mobilize any of my troops the truce is gonna be up with the Ottoman Empire by the time this ends Russia's paying a ton for the mobilization, though. Hmm. I think we're going to decrease taxes again. Because we went into deficit spend. Our standard of living is dipping. This will kind of help out with this. Uh, we are having just a huge problem with the inefficient... The industrial safety shutdowns. I'm not sure what exactly that event is. I'm really looking forward to this election. Oh. Uh, it creates the new parties at the start, so we're not going to have a new party. This reformer needs to die, and this nihilist needs to die. For us to get something going. We don't want... We will just add to the free trade party momentum. We're fine with them getting more votes.
Really hoping for this tick to go well. Middle managers, man, it's a, that's a really annoying one to oscillate because it affects bureaucracy. And so some, suddenly you get kneecapped and you're like, where'd my bureaucracy go? And then you get a bunch of extra bureaucracy so you spend it all to try and be efficient. Kind of stalling out the standard living here. We will increase education. And I think law enforcement as well. If we can. Middle managers doesn't know whether it wants to be activated or deactivated. We will take the extra loyalists. Let's actually take a look at the min minimum expected. Yeah, we can afford this. The party will never end. So we are doing kind of okay here. We're somehow making money. Well, that's because the construction queues not doing too hot. Um, let's take a look at what industry we have here. We want sugar plantations. You're not having a you're having a hard time employing. We're having a hard time getting boom booms in general. Maybe once we get regulatory bodies, this malice will go away. This 50% throughput malice, this is huge though. This is so bad for us. Like we would be building, yeah, we'd be, oh, we'd be getting so much more goods here. We didn't have it. I guess we want to expand the industries elsewhere. For now, because they are doing a little bit better. Well, this also needs a railroad, so let's kick it to the front of the queue. Free trade party wins. I don't think we can reform the government, like, at all, really, here. Yeah, because we need to put the people together that shouldn't be together. Kind of tempted to come up off of monarchy, just for the purpose of uh, getting this guy out. Let's stop suppressing this guy. Start suppressing this guy. We are trying to keep the trade unions over 18% clout. We do want to suppress the free trade party at some point. With the way things are going, we might have to switch to being mostly bolster based. Let's take a look at our institutions again. What can we do? Well, so we don't want to... I don't think we want to increase Social Security. Let's increase Home Affairs. No, let's increase Law Enforcement a little bit. So the, the, the decreased laticals from Standard Living decrease is going to be nice. Especially because we've been stalled out here. What are you... You're paying so much for your goods. You're paying a lot for clothes. Ah, uh, just and furniture. The problem is we produce so much of it. If these things would just be more efficient, oh, uh, it's just so ugly. This throughput malice is just like killing us so bad. It's really not good. We are deficit spending now. This is starting to creep up a little. Hopefully, we get regulatory bodies here. They are placated. Russia gets enforced upon. Let's see, we can already start another war with them. Uh, we could take Trabazon. I don't think... Russia... Let's see Russia's attitude towards us. They're domineering, so they will not help us out. So, we're just gonna, you know, sit tight. Because we have to... Okay, let's take a look. Uh, we don't want the interest group approval, but the pop attraction would be nice. And the interest group approval would be nice. We cannot risk angering them further. So will this give us a bonus? So if we do the trade unions, let's, uh, let's do the trade unions. Just because we're trying to get these guys down a little bit. 
I know we would get the bonus for job creators if we did for the industrialists, but for the trade unions, we are trying to make them happier overall, and it's we're having a little bit of difficulty. Oh, it's nice that we're getting the bonus from the landowners. They're pretty happy with us. Why is this? Oh, they like free trade because there's a market liberal? Fair enough. Aristocrats' uh, investment pool contribution isn't nothing. It's not very good either, but it's not nothing. Let's go society tech and we'll go feminism now. And what did we just finish? I forgot what we were researching. Must do research. Hiya. Steel ra railway cars. Okay, so I think we could turn that on in the capital. Yeah, we got extra infrastructure right now. Let's take a look. And how much infrastructure are you doing now? You're going to need another rail. You have a little extra. We'll put one in the queue and we will swap over to steel. You have a little bit extra. We'll do the same here. We're just going to swap them all over. It's going to be a little bit more efficient. We're going to check and see if we have uh, any infrastructure problems. We do. So we're going to need a couple rails here. Could maybe turn these ports on, but we don't want to do it quite yet. That is on the table, though. Alright, we are making money. It's surprising. Is that because we're not constructing? No, we are constructing. We just have a lot of tax revenue. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we gotta get the industrialists weaker. It's gonna be a little bit tough because we have to lean on bolstering interscripts a little bit more. Suppress these guys into the dirt. I think, since we wanted deficit spend a little bit. Well, as we deficit spend, we actually do empower the, uh, the industrialists a little bit. So maybe we don't want to do that. We also... Could make the industrialists weaker by switching to privately owned. Which would make these buildings more profitable. I don't really want to do that because I really love me some investment pool contribution. But this is, this is something we can do. They're so weak already. The church. Poor church. Having an easy time keeping this hovering around 18%. Making a little bit too much money now. I think that we do this. Okay, we get reg bodies. Oh, and we could do compulsory primary school. We definitely want this. And everyone's happy about it, so. Except for the landowners, who are weak. We lose their investment pool contribution. That's fine. We pick up the 20% uh, investment pool contribution from the industrialists. So this is nice. Everyone kind of supports this law right now. We are making a ton of money. Why are we making... Ah, we get... It's because we're getting more investment pool transfer because we turned that on. All right. So let's turn on some construction now that they're happy with us. Oh, are we already on all steel frame? No, we're not. Let's do it. We do have to do something about this, so I guess we're going to stop, like, suppressing the group. Regulatory bodies didn't do that. Neither did free trade. Why is it? Why do we suddenly have such a big malice? Did our leader die? 
He did. Oh, the guy was giving us so much authority. Unfortunate. This is the heir. Gotta love me a child baby heir. He is on forces. Do kind of want to switch off from of monarchy because we don't want to make... We don't like the Orthodox Church being here and the landowners being down here. This is really not it. Although, the 10% authority is not terrible. If we kept them happy, actually, them being in here is actually kind of nice. For the authority bonus. I think we're just going to have a hard time keeping them happy, though. Oh, wow, we're making so much money. God, this really took off, huh? Okay. Well. Let's have a little bit of a think. So let's expand agriculture in overseas areas so we are not contributing to the clout of the landowners. What do you need? Electricity? Uh, fair enough. I think we're expanding. Are we getting collabs? No. Are we. We have to be. colonizing somewhere, right? Are we just wasting time? Oh, we are down here. Yeah, okay. Right, we were trying to provoke Mapuche into having an uprising versus us. This was it. Compulsory primary school will be nice. We do need some more. Um, bureaucracy. We do have a more righteous government though now. This is kind of nice. Do need a rail there. Yeah, our legitimacy has come up. So we're generating loyalists. take a look give them political strength they don't have a lot of political strength so increasing it doesn't seem like too big a deal don't want them to get radical why not seems fine Tempted to expand the military with all this money, actually. We could decrease taxes again, but I don't think this is the look. I think we want a large enough military to actually be able to do something. Like, uh, puppet Argentina. Because they're not gonna help us with any wars, so... Why don't we do some of this? And which one is the petite bourgeoisie market liberal? Perfect. This is quite a bit of military we're adding on here. We'll promote this guy, which will add to the petite bourgeoisie clout, which is something we're interested in anyways. Plus 3% interest group for the political strength. Let's see if we can recruit another general in the Caucasus HQ that is a interest group that we care about. So we could increase, in, recruit the intelligentsia guy. This might be something we're interested in. The intelligentsia are having a little bit of a hard time. So let's stop bolstering these guys and start suppressing the trade unionists. And hopefully this helps bring the liberal back up a little bit. I think we will be recruiting one of these generals. I don't know where to put him in either the Anatolia or the Caucasus. I guess we'll be taking some Anatolia dirt, so putting him in Anatolia seems not terrible. Despite the fact that the capital is in the Caucasus. So this will help contribute to the clout of them. Gotta be a little bit careful because we can only do so much of this. We are increasing. Ooh, we gotta turn on PMs. That's right. So 
Let's go skirmish, mobile artillery. Skirmish, mobile artillery. Oh, we don't want it on the conscription centers. This should get pretty expensive pretty quick, but then we will be able to, uh, I think... How much military are we going to have when we're done? We have 40 mils. That's a good amount. Let's take a look at what Argentina's got. Yeah, we could take on Argentina then. With that. Grassroots support for loss. We want, we'll take the loyalists because we don't want to empower the um, industrialists anymore. They're pretty powerful. We actually want to diminish their clout somewhat. We might actually switch off of poor laws onto like old age pensions or something just to kind of help out with this. Credit where credit's due. I think we again give it to, uh, well, let's take a look. If they're really happy, they're pretty happy with us with the trade unions or not. So we're gonna do trade union attraction. And liberals are back over 18%. Uh, we've been suppressing the trade unions a little bit, so that's good. And the amount of money we're... Ooh, this has kind of, like, fell off, fallen off a cliff. Are we now... You know what it probably was? Is we stopped having the malice. Yeah, we stopped having the malice as soon as we acted, enacted regulatory bodies. That's what it was. So now this is, uh... Spikes the standard of living, gets people to migrate, gets people on the jobs. Which of course, we also get a spike in loyalists, which is nice, and a decrease in radicals. I think we do want to puppet Argentina, though. Ooh, we could turn this on as well. We are gonna want to build up some arms. Ugh, our arms industries are terrible. We'll see. Is breech loaders a little bit better? It is. Let's have a munitions plant here. All right. So, what do you have in terms of defense? You have a defensive pact uh, with Great Britain. Okay, that's a thing. You did. You have defensive pack. Can we take Chile and Peru and Bolivia at the same time? We don't have a land border with Chile, so that'll be tough. Um, we do have a land border with Persia. How strong are you? Well, let's look at your diplomacy. You're in the customs union. You probably get defended. They have a trade agreement with Wallachia and Austria. Can't go after Egypt. I mean, we could go after one of these little guys, like Katai, which notably oil appears there anyways. But we don't have a means by which we can invade, the, invade them, so we might have to build up a little bit of a navy. And recruit an admiral. Is. Mm. We don't want either of these guys because they're not in the IGs we want. We get the playwright reform. I think that... We don't want the industrialists. We don't really care too much. We'll take the prestige. And then we will look to... Steam Donkey would be okay. So would improve for it. Um... I think I like fan nationalism kind of help us out on our way to uh, trying to do this run's primary objective, which is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. This is starting to get close to 18%, so we gotta just keep an eye on that. Trying to get this petite bourgeoisie guy up. We could also take away a co two consumption taxes, right? Uh, and then, yeah, I think I like this. Which is going to stimulate, stimulate the economy a little bit and help bring that up. And then at the same time, we can bolster them. Which is going to help us get uh, the groups we want powerful, powerful. 
we also are starting to run a navy. We just... We'll wait to recruit an admiral, I think. We don't want to hire and fire. Actually, could we hire and fire armed forces guy? We would lose this bonus. This bonus is actually kind of nice. Hmm. Do need to spend more money somehow, though. I think what we're going to do is we're going to add some construction here. Steel frame buildings. You're employing more. Do want to kind of be spending a lot. All right, so what do we want the agricultural industry to be here? We do need, we really need power. And we can't get it here, or it's not working. It's not ramping up here. It's not employing because the other places are too profitable, but it is employing here. So why don't we actually up power by here like quite a bit? And then you're almost certainly going to need infrastructure, right? Uh, we'll just add it at the top. What are we running shortages on here? Ammunition. Okay. We turn off the ammo. Put this at the front of the queue. And we'll go to diplomacy. Yeah, I don't want Russia to hate us. not ideal. I don't think we can fight the Ottomans solo either. Yeah, this is too strong. They have power projection of 726. The PMs must be awful. We're almost strong enough to fight them. Well, we don't want to increase their popularity because we they're as powerful as we want them, so we'll take this one, just the increased pass chance. We are engaging with these events in a like much more careful way because look, at the, he's just got so much clout. We're gonna need a block of uh, guys to try and get them through. We have this. Oh, this guy's a market liberal, so I imagine next election they won't want to join the liberal party anymore. Or well, he's a market liberal instead of an nihilist. Yeah, never mind. He's probably going one to. We want this guy off of a reformer, so we can go up the cultural exclusion tree. Can we fight Japan? We can fight Japan. So let's start damaging relations. I've been looking for like, I've been trying to find fights that like are reasonable. And this is a reasonable one. We could take the rest of Hokkaido, I guess. Because we, we're not, generally speaking, you kind of want to be decaying infamy at all times, but we haven't been able to find spots really because we just have like a weird start here where we're, I mean, we're starting to come off like, we're gonna have a navy soon, TM. Oh, I forget it's only a malice of two now, so we can actually recruit this guy and then fire him uh, when the armed forces get too powerful. I think I like it recruiting this guy over the... Well, actually, landowners are a completely oppressed group, right? So let's recruit this guy. Let's recruit... This guy's actually decent, so we'll fire the... Uh, Retire him. We'll recruit an admiral. And caucuses again. We're gonna retire him. Intelligence is perfect. Ambitious dockyard organizer, because this is with the intelligentsia we've been having a little problems with. And then what we can do is we can suppress the armed forces. Oh, Sakhalin, why are you doing this to us? You know, the armed forces is pretty happy with us right now. We'll take the minus group approval right now. Come on, France, why you gotta do us like this? Do us dirty. Now they will have a permanent interest in Japan, which we don't like, because they might stick their thing finger in our thumb. Wait, 
stick their thumb in our pie, stick their finger in our pie, when we try and declare war against Japan. So it's a little bit unfortunate. We will do the Loyalists from Standard of Living Increases, because Standard of Living is currently on the rise, and we might even... We could decrease taxes here. An action chance, or... No, we actually want the Petite Bourgeoisie to get stronger. Um, I think I like decreasing taxes here, because the increased Loyalist modifier we have temporarily. And I think we eventually want to decrease taxes anyways, right? So we'll take that. Which is going to help us be more legitimate as well. Because we're making, like, a lot of money right now. And then I guess we just have to do the thing. We have to increase construction by a whole bunch. So let's do that. trouble getting power. Oh, nope. Kind of getting out of this a little bit. You are losing money, though. It's not ideal. Let's take a look. About 15 throughput allowed, so... I need this, and then a railroad, and then a couple more of these boyos. And then we'll get you up to 51 for the max throughput bonus. And that kind of round, rounds out what we want to be doing there. Can we get... Ugh, you're having some problems. Engines are expensive. So let's get the price of engines down if we can. Bhutan backs down against Bhutan. What a relief. We are colonizing Klebs, so let's put an anchorage there. And then we will have to decide at some point what we want to get there. I'm guessing we'll want to do dyes here. We are trying to do just one single industry because they do benefit from economies of scale bonus, which for the longest time I thought they didn't, which is kind of wild. See, standard living is creeping up pretty quick here, so we got to be a little bit careful. We might want to throttle it, although we are enjoying the loyalist increase if we look. You know, we are getting the bonus from them, we're getting the bonus from them, we're not getting the second bonus from them, we're getting the second bonus from the petite bourgeoisie, which gives us, you know, uh, treasury bonds. I think we might even decrease this another level. Or we could just up construction and try and get, uh, you know, in the 3-400 range. I think I like the construction route a little bit more. Oop, didn't want that last one. Ah, oh, yes, we've been hoping for this. So we have a pacifist. And we have a reformer. Let him fight. Let's hope the reformer dies. Ruben dies. Unfortunate. Didn't have the guy died. Who this guy who died? Trade unionist died. The moderate. Now we or now we have a moderate. The reformer lives. Unfortunate. We wanted him to die. Let us make sure we are auto-expanding all of the... Yeah, we are. Can we st really still not make Boom Booms? I mean, they're starting to employ now. Oh, we can do this now. Perfect. Free Trade Party wins. We will take care of that in a second, but we're going to actually swap over to Dynamite. 
Oh, we're already running shortages. Come on. We want to just increase the demand a little bit. We're going to swap over to nitro, or we'll swap over to dynamite here to increase minting. And so the free trade party, how can we reform government to make it as... Well, it's wild. We could do this if we wanted. We really want to get the petite bourgeoisie in government to try and ramp this up, but we also need the industrialist to die because he's a reformer and would oppose it. And I don't want to... I don't want to do that into a reformer industrialist. We also are still trying to get through this child labor thing. And suddenly, pain. All right, so what changed? Expenses came down. Was it just the construction we built? Can't be just that. This had to have gone down. Yeah, this went down pretty sharply. Did we make someone upset? No. They're really happy with us, in fact. Hmm. Well, we did want a deficit spend, so we're in that territory now. It can't possibly be this little dinky thing. The 1.3% tax raised, although we will take care of that. We are, in fact, not constructing. As anywhere near as much as we can. What is doing this? Did we get booted from their market? Is that what happened? Did we get the boot? No, this looks kind of normal-ish. Yeah, we're in the Russian market. Huh. I guess this came up really fast, which increased the wages. So we do have to throttle this a little bit. It will. This will come back down. Um. Oh, this is nice for us as well. Less that and more. We do have a supply of oil, so we're going to switch to vacuum canning and hope that the oil supply increases, and we're going to do this. Which now lets us go publicly traded on these. We do need some more of this stuff. primary school. We'll add another one of these to help support the institutions we want. We don't mind increasing law enforcement. We are going to get a standard of living decrease here now that we've increased taxes, hopefully, actually. Because I think we are just paying... Are we just paying out the butt on government wages? Yeah, that's kind of it. do want silk to be produced somewhere here, and I think this is the only place we can produce it is in the capital. So we might add a couple levels of that to make us a little bit more insulated. Let's try and... I'm gonna need a couple rails. And then we'll try and get this to 51 as well. so much. What is going on here? A lot of it's on steel and glass. Are those super expensive? Oh, they're ungodly expensive. Okay. Let's switch another one. Let's switch one of these off of, uh, switch it to iron frame. And then...
Okay, that should start taking care of stuff. I guess let's see if we have an incorporated territory we... Yeah, we don't have any peasants anywhere. We must have had an investment pool that I was just not paying close enough attention to before we increased all this construction and we were draining it and then it finished draining. This is the only thing I can think of. Also, the government wages spiking up by quite a bit. Oh, and subsidies being expensive now. Let's see if we can do anything about the subsidies and see if we have anything in the rural area where we can turn on railroads. Can on there. We can switch to electric sawmills. Have electricity shortage, but we will figure that out. You are trying to employ. We do need. Oh, we desperately need more migration. Let's make sure we. Yeah, we do have the bonus there. We're going to have to stop suppressing these guys and switch to suppressing the trade unionists. We're kind of the petite bourgeoisie is getting stalled out here. Happy to see this have come down, but it's going to come back up with the suppression going on here. We could do this swap. Kind of waiting for this guy to be not a reformer. You know what we could do to empower both the intelligentsia and these guys? We could increase these government wages. The problem is it's really expensive for us to do that. So we're not going to do that right now. How much are we paying in mill wages? I guess we could decrease this a little bit. Save some money. I actually think the morale recovery is pretty nice, though. Uh, we will take the throughput. Let's go pragmatism. And then we can go agitation maybe. This is not quite sustainable. I think we will have to delete some construction centers. Yeah, the construction centers also shot up the standard of living in another way because they increased the demand for all labor. We just needed to up that slower. So unfortunately, we're going to fire some people, but not a lot. We're trying to make a slow adjustment so it's a little bit more flat. But... I do think we are up to three, so maybe we can land one of these guys like Kutai. We're not quite... I mean, we could expel diplomats here as well. We're not too concerned about the infamy decrease. Why don't we not, though? I think what we want to do is we want to uh, puppet Kutai. Or we can just conquer them. Yeah, conquer is better. The problem is, there's a lot of people to get through, potentially. I think one of them, at least one of them joins that we do not want to be fighting. Uh, can we do anything here? They're in the Russian market, Jesus. Russia's so strong. Don't think I can fight all those guys. We are paying for the military, so we like really want to be using it. Can we declare interest anywhere? Okay, we can declare some interest and then try and pick up some fights that are, like, decent for us. We can go after Panama, and then... Well, North Africa's pretty close to where we're at. Actually, let's do here. Trugal States would be also a decent pickup here. Or 
Russia, how do you feel? Still domineering. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so this is why we're what we're afraid of with attacking Kutai is just Great Shing just coming in and clapping us. Running a lot of shortages of, of what? Okay, well, we can't do vacuum canning, I guess. Fair. You're close to it. Why don't we just add these to the queue? Because you'll need them soon. We are deficit spending quite a bit. But unfortunately, we do not have the plus 10 bonus on the petite bourgeoisie to help deal with this. These guys want in on the free trade party, though. It's like almost okay. Hmm. We do want to get. You know what? I think we can actually do this. To get authority to put down a consumption tax and it like kind of to some extent will pay for itself while also simultaneously uh, empowering the intelligentsia and the petite bourgeoisie which we are trying to do how do we unlock also getting bureaucrats Oop. on these pm here would be nice so how do we get government run Oh, we can't have laissez-faire. It's unfortunate. We need protectionism. That is one advantage, I suppose, of protectionism. Well, what are we building up here? I think we wanted to... Why don't we delete this and build up this a little bit? And this is our auto-expanding. We are going to do T there. I don't know what we want to build here. I guess we could do T again. Could kind of just do nothing. We'd rather have these in other areas. We're going to take a pause. Maybe in Sakhalin. Did get to max throughput bonus here, I think. No, so how much infrastructure we got? Oh, we're using way too much. Okay, well, we need a couple of these boyos. Let's do three and then so that's gonna be 42 that'll put us at the max throughput bonus I think we maybe want to stop auto expanding this temporarily work on other things this is starting to become a bit too much so we will again we'll go into the construction and we will throttle some of it down a little bit Yeah, it's too much. We're gonna throttle it down a little bit more. I'm gonna switch to... Hmm. I think we need to throttle it down more. People will start getting fired. We are attracting quite a lot of pops, so this is a benefit of this standard living being high, but it's too high. So, a lot of people get fired, paying a lot in interest, this is kind of okay, because you pay it back to your pops, it's like a form of stimulus, it's fine. I think we can increase this to throttle this down a little bit more. We don't want to be running this, it's one problem as well. Do this to decrease this to kind of a better number. We're just not getting very much from this. And the, this is all really expensive construction goods now. 
Let's see if we can import anything and let's see what's expensive in our market. Man, why are these not employing? when there's like a shortage in the market. The railroads eating this makes is a bit of a problem. And how are clothes expensive? We're making so many clothes, man. Well, we're not taking that penalty. so much for the steel frame buildings as well. Okay. Finally got this down. And this is increasing. Now, one of the reasons this is coming up is because the businesses are getting more profitable because we're firing people from the construction things, so they need to find jobs elsewhere, and they're finding jobs, driving down, you know, the price of labor as well. turning back on the steel frame buildings in a second. We want this to drift down a little bit first. And we'll go socialism maybe? Hmm. We could just go directly into kind of what we want. In here, I guess there's, oh, I guess we actually want political agitation is what we want, so we can't. And we will Turn on the steel frame buildings now. Everywhere. Now this will, yeah, so we want to make careful that we don't just plummet into the earth on this, but we can increase this and this. And then let's add some more government admins to support this. And we're losing money again, perfect. We, again, are paying for military, we're not using- are you guys happy with us yet? No, you're not. You guys are belligerents. We cannot do a diplo play against them, though, because Russia will 100% join against us, unfortunately. Um, we're just gonna play some whack-a-mole here, just look around and see what we can uh, do in terms of infrastructure. You'll need a railroad eventually, my guy. This 10k is fine, but it is... An unhealthy 10k. Why is it unhealthy? If we turned off the construction, which aren't getting covered by this, we'd be fine. I don't know why it's red. It should be white. Our economy is large enough to be putting us in rank 9. do have the fourth largest economy in the world. We could think about trying to balance it, I guess. We didn't get booted from the market. No, we did not. God, the wood is expensive in Russia, unreal. I wonder what this is about. This might be uh, a product of an increase in, yeah, it's gonna be an increase in trade route level. One downside about getting outside of Russia's market is right now our trade is adjacent with Great Xing, which we're dependent on them for a lot of stuff. And we would not be adjacent otherwise. 
We unlock elastics for textile mills. I don't think we can turn it on. How much would we need? 530 rubber and we have one rubber plantation. I don't think that's gonna cut it. We're gonna make a rail transport, but it is making 30. It's a decent non-zero amount. You still have a... Oops. These guys no longer have a defensive pact. With the UK? They do with the Peru Bolivia, but... How are your PMs, Peru Bolivia? You have a... Production of 310, so you have a production of... So if we increase military by just a little bit, maybe we could swing this. But I think we do have to get the economy under control a little bit here. Oop. Let's stop suppressing these. We got we want these guys to be powerful and happy. We don't have enough of this yet. We'll go luxury clothes tax. That'll kind of help us drag out of this. Yeah, we're getting increasing radicals, but being blunted a little by our law enforcement institution. Suddenly we're making way more money, and it's not this. In fact, the investment pool is currently banking. What changed so dramatically? Consumption tax went up. Dividend taxes went up. Minting's been stable. This didn't come down much. Is it just Russia playing around with their PMs? That's just, like, shooting down our subsidies? A welfare payment shot down. Okay, so this is the problem. This is what we're... Well, no, this is only 2k. It's not a big deal. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll let this tick a little bit. Hmm. Weird. Oh, his construction wasn't going. God, I always miss that. Yeah, that's, that's it. All right. We're at 51 now. We're gonna take off auto expand. Somehow you can't deploy, tragic. I think we do want the steel to come up next. So let's take a look at railroads. Yeah, we'll build you one here and then add some steel. And we will puppet Argentina here. How long are we on? So, oh, we've been going quite a while. We'll actually call it an episode here. Probably puppet Argentina next. We have been working, trying to become, uh, trying to shuffle around uh, the clout here to make the groups we want powerful, powerful, and also happy. Uh, petite bourgeoisie, we're starting to get them kind of up there a little bit. Uh, but they're not quite. We've been waiting for certain, like, interest group guys to die because they've been annoying. Like, this reformer is annoying. Once he's not a reformer, we're going to go towards racial segregation, these types of stuff, towards ethnostate. And this will give us a bunch more authority and uh, hopefully make things easier. Um, but we do have a new objective for the run, which is to perfectly balance our IGs and have five that are powerful and happy all at the same time. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good day.